Hi everyone, it is March 9th, Wednesday, and I thought I'll do a video from Santiago again. I didn't do one last week because I was visiting family in Norway. I had a good time, so I hasn't been up there for a long time, almost three years, so it was, it was a good visit. Uh, did some traveling too, which was interesting. Traveling for the first time, airplanes, uh, first time in three years. Uh, no problem at all, showing some uh, the COVID paperwork and that's it really wearing mask and that's it so that was a good experience anyway uh, a few things that i wanted to talk about today um first well it's not the imp most important thing but i i i thought it was fun for me to look to see that we have sixty thousand questions now on the forum which i posted about uh, the other day yesterday i think it was and we're getting close to a, a million messages and we're almost having a hundred thousand at ninety two thousand right now members of course this is members accumulating over the 18 years we've been doing this they're not ninety two thousand active members but still there's been a few people passing by the forum over the last 18 years so that was nice uh pilgrim wise in santiago right now is 78 pilgrims got to Compostela yesterday so it's up a little bit from two weeks ago when I think it was 37 or so. I can actually, back then I couldn't see pilgrims in the street. I didn't see anyone. Now we see, we see pilgrims in the street. They're not a lot, but you see them around, which is a nice little change to finally see pilgrims in the, in the streets again. Um, one thing that I've seen, which is nice, is that it seems like Albergues are starting to think about thinking about opening up again. Uh, in um, April and mid-April is Easter. I think it's the third week of April. And usually in normal year, Easter is when the big season starts for pilgrims. They, they start walking in the Easter break. And after that, it's just a continuous flow of pilgrims. Uh, so I was surprised. I usually pass by Plaza de Cervantes, which is where you see here every, every day. And um, there's an albergue called the last stamp you'll see it just down to the right there uh, about a 50 meters down this street you'll see the albergue and here's where i'm standing in front of the albergue and this paper that has been in the window of this door has been up there since the beginning of the pandemic and now they've changed it because it's now it says we're closed we'll be open back open on april the first which which was great news because that means they're actually going to open again because the initial paper that was there for since the beginning of the pandemic has been saying we're closed and we don't know anything more so just and take care of yourself and all of that so i was assuming after and two years and some maybe they were they were economically in a situation where they couldn't open but it seemed like they're opening up again and of course, it's only one albergue, but I feel like this is going to be the case for many places around Spain uh, come April. Uh, they're going to see that pilgrims are coming again. They're going to start opening up again, and hopefully uh, that will give pilgrims that are walking this spring and summer and fall some more options of uh, lodging options. Options. Of course, we don't know how many are going to open. We don't know when they're going to open. It, it that's, uh, depends on the on the owner and the situation the place is in but anyway th i like that um that was that was uh, a good news for me because i was worried about uh, about them covid wise in spain right now we're at 385 um 385 cases over the last two weeks uh, that's per 100,000 inhabitants. We last thing I last time I I did this video two weeks ago we were at thousand was it? It was high, higher. Uh, so now we're at uh, 385. It's going down. They they're up. This is updated yesterday in March 8th. They usually update every week now. It's not every day. It's every week. So it's every Tuesday. Uh, so I think it was 444 before that. So it's down from 444 to 385. About, uh, so, so it's about a 10% reduction every week. So then you could hopefully calculate when, you, when you're going to go, what it's going to look like. It's, it's uh, looking good. 
They were starting to talk about removing restrictions uh, indoor. Right now, you have to wear a mask indoor. There's some rumors talk about in the papers that they may remove that soon, that restriction. But of course, it has not been decided yet. So, so that's what that looks like. So, if we look at the map, let's say you're walking uh, Camino Frances, you go into Nevada, which is not right now 468, Burgos 435. Valencia 262, Leon 320, Lugo 668, 662, and then Coruña 631. Coruña is where Santiago is. And you could see what the colors. It's it, it's looking pretty good, everything. So hopefully, COVID-wise, we should be in a good place too. Uh, I think that's about it. I didn't have enough uh, any any really big topics for this week. I just wanted to give you a short update on everything. Uh, my travels, as I mentioned, was easy. Uh, we went actually down to Porto because we found a connecting flight from Porto to Amsterdam to go back to Norway. So we traveled uh, from Porto and up to Amsterdam and we had to show the uh, COVID passport to get your bo boarding card. We checked, we couldn't check in online. We had to check in at the gate or at the, at the check-in counter showing our proof of vaccination. Then we got our boarding card and then we were off and we didn't have to show that again. Um, until we entered Portugal again. When we entered Portugal, we had to show the uh, the COVID passport again. And actually, on the information we got from KLM, we flew KLM back to Portugal. They were saying that you have to fill out a there's a Portuguese form, uh, fill out your information. I guess it's similar to the Spanish form. You get a there's a QR code you got get out the end. Uh, we did all that, but we were never asked to show the QR code anywhere. But that's just our uh, experience. It might be different for you. But still, uh, entering Spain and entering Portugal, as it is right now, you have to do that form where you get the QR code. Anyway, that's it for me. Hope things are good where you are and your planning is going well. It's raining today in Santiago. It's pretty windy and raining. I was actually down at the square, Obradora Square, and then I did a video, uh, this video down there, but it was so windy and noisy I couldn't use that. So. I decided to come back here and do it from here. Anyway, hope things are good where you are. Stay safe. Ciao.